from investigative stories to ones that inform and some that inspire. Inside Edition has you covered and Deborah Norville, a friend of the blend, joins us now to share some stories that they are working on this week. Deborah, how are you? I'm great, Natalie. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Always enjoy talking with you and really enjoy seeing what you're working on for Inside Edition because I know you guys really are uh, diving into some good ones right now and kind of looking at not necessarily the gymnastics coverage that we've been seeing, but you're starting yeah. to see some similarities in sexual harassment when it comes to swimming. Is that correct? This is very, very similar to the scandal with USA Gymnastics. USA Swim, which is the governing body for high school and collegiate swimming, you know, unless it's NCAA. But anyway, USA Swimming is if you're a high school swimmer, you're part of USA Swim. Um, you're going to meet two young women whose Olympic dreams were crushed because they were sexually molested by their swim coach. This young woman was 14 years old when she says her high school coach abused her. She reported what happened to her parents. Her parents called the police. The guy was criminally charged and sentenced to eight years in prison. He did 19 months. That was bad enough, but then she found out that there had been complaints about him before and no one acted on it. This other woman, the woman on the side of the uh, pool there, she too says that she was abused by her coach. Um, he was never criminally charged, but they are among at least wow. over 100 women that we can say have been abused because we can say that 100 people who were a part of USA Swim have been banned for life because of allegations or proven um, charges of sexual misconduct, inappropriate behavior. Some critics say it's the tip of the iceberg. They say that USA Swim, in the same way that USA Gymnastics was accused of this, turned a blind eye and a deaf ear to the complaints about coaches. There are right now nine lawsuits pending against USA Swim. Now, USA Swim denies the allegations in those lawsuits. However, a congressional committee is now investigating. So watch this space. Don't be surprised if you don't see the next scandal in sports coming from swimming. And you know what's interesting, and I got to you know, compliment Inside Edition what you guys are able to do because you really dive in, and these stories do need light because as we're seeing, more women, more individuals are getting their strength by seeing things on your show like this to have the strength to yeah. come out. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I think so. And I think you know one of the reasons people are probably uh, listening more to the swimmers is the, the gymnasts had the courage to stand up and say, hey, this happened to me. How big is this going to get? It's anybody's guess. Um, but the uh, the guy who had been the head of USA Swimming, who was criticized for not investigating complaints against one particular coach, um, the coach who later pled guilty to 20 counts of sexually um, molesting children, that guy apologized and he resigned his position. Now, we can't go to him for an interview uh, because unfortunately he passed away last year. Um, People within swimming know that this is an issue and they know it's starting to make headlines and generally it's the headlines that encourage people to act. So I guess that's a good thing. Well, let's kind of go to a lighter note, shall we? I know you've got a, a new correspondent. Do I want to say a correspondent that's helping you out? One athlete covering other athletes. Of course, I'm talking about Nancy Kerrigan, who's helping you out in the Super Bowl or helping you out of the big game, I should say. Yeah, she's sort of a short timer. We only get her for a few weeks, but we're thrilled to have her. And yeah, she is um, working for Inside Edition this week in Minneapolis covering the Super Bowl for us. And she's still got it. Look at she's just beautiful on the ice. And yesterday she taught some of these kinds of moves to the Patriots cheerleaders. She's also been at the media day talking to none other than Tom Brady. Of course, she's rooting for the Patriots and she comes from Massachusetts. Um, tomorrow she's going to be sharing her Super Bowl recipes since she can't have a Super Bowl party because she'll be on the sidelines of the big game. She's sharing with us and cooking for us the stuff that she usually makes makes when she hosts a Super Bowl party at home. And then when the Olympics happen, uh, beginning next week, Nancy's going to be giving her perspective on some of the things that are making headlines from Korea. Oh, that'll be great. Be great to get her take. Well, as always, we appreciate your time, Deborah. Keep the good work up. We always appreciate talking with you. Thank you.